Well, hello everybody. It's the Paul Mass Show again. We're glad that you can come back for an episode. And uh, we got a great interview coming up in just a couple moments. But before we get into that, uh, as usual, don't forget to um, hit that subscribe button there and also click the notification bell. And you're always going to get the latest interviews whenever they become available. And we have a comment section, obviously, so use that and tell us what you think. And uh, if you'd like to join us on Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV, which is my other show, obviously. And you can uh, like the page, inbox us, comment, and everything you see. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you'd like to be on the show, you can email us at TV all one word, at gmail.com. And uh, that, for, that's for bands and solo artists. But if you're a fan as well, just give us a buzz. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget, every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central on uh, Roku channel Smile World TV, one of my episodes will be on there. And we'll recap all that at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. In just a moment, we're going to have, uh, from Fort Myers, Florida, George Keene. He's a Hugh Hefner tribute, and uh, he was a delight to have uh, to interview. And um, we'll get to that in just a second, but first, here's a uh, quick word from Click Jam. Don't go away. We'll be right back. We got history, got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me, thinking about what could Okay, and here we are, and uh, let please welcome George Kane from Fort Myers, Florida. He's a Hugh Hefner tribute, and uh, we're glad to have you on the show, George. Good afternoon, Paul, and I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, no problem. Um... You know, it's interesting because uh, when I saw pictures of you before, it was uncanny how you looked like Hugh Hefner. Um, uh, when, did, when did all that begin for you? I mean, uh, tell us in your own words. Well, this started uh, probably 15 years ago. I was a collegiate football official and used to travel all over the U.S. by plane. And people were saying, you know who you look like? I said, yeah, yeah. But I didn't do anything with it. And I just let it uh, go from there. But that's basically when it started. I'd say right now, I say it started about 20 years ago from now. Hmm. Well, I'm glad that you're doing what you do and everything. And I'm sure people, um, you know, love seeing you as uh, as the half, I guess they call it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, I, yeah, I go by L-A-F. And... That's uh, for business purposes, L.A., because he was from Los Angeles. But what it means when people really ask me, I say it's look-alike hat. Uh, that way I'm covered. Yeah, yeah, I can I can see that. Um, well, tell me some of the people that you grew up with that you idolized. I mean, especially if they were in Playboy, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure that you have a few in your mind that come to mind. That I grew up with, or yes. no, no, I mean uh, who you idolized as a as your younger days, you know, the celebrities. Well, to be very honest with you, I wasn't really that involved with the celebrity end of it. I would just go to my usual movies, but I didn't have any one given celebrity that was impressive to me. Uh, so as a result, I can't say I'm very excited there. I did teach, and while I was in, uh, a teacher, I did teach Richard Gere, uh, in ninth grade in American Geography class. Uh, other than that, I really wasn't that interested in celebrities per se. Oh, I see. Well, that's that's an interesting piece of trivia there about uh, uh, teaching Richard Gere. Um, I, I, he, was he a pretty good student? <laughs> he was a very good student, very intelligent, uh, a, a fantastic gymnast. Oh. And, uh, yeah, and he was from North Syracuse, where I'm from, Cicero, North Syracuse. And uh, he kept his name. That was his name in high school, and that is his name today. Hmm. His father ran an insurance agency, 
and his father's name was Homer Gear, and he, Richard had a sister, and he just kept his name throughout all this time. Oh, okay. Well, well, that's uh, that's interesting. I'm I'm glad you told me that. That's uh, it's always nice to learn new things like that, George. <laughs> right. And then the other thing, if I had a, after I started this, probably the person that I was extremely interested in was Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was after her passing. In fact, I was so interested that I bought a crypt next to her. Now I'm talking as you after. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, how... I crypt and that's where I reside now, right next to her in LA. Oh, okay. Um... I don't know if very many people knew that or know that. Oh, there, there might be some people find you for that slot too. I think, uh, Georgia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just messing with you. Uh, yeah, as you know, uh, a woman uh, by the name of Angela Marie Monroe uh, asked, you, asked you to come on um, our AMM Music Productions company, and uh, she does a Marilyn Monroe tribute, and. Uh, and of course, I interviewed her about a couple of years ago, and she's uh, she's a really great lady, and I'm glad that you're part of our team there. <laughs> right. Well, I appreciate being a part at this point. Yeah. And um, well, why, why don't you tell everybody uh, in case anybody's interested in in, uh, in this interview and they want to contact you, how would they get how would they get in contact with you? All we have to do is uh, go to the computer and look up you. Hefner look alike dot com. Okay. But if they just look up Hugh Hefner lookalikes, I'm the only one that pops up because I'm the only one in the world and the best one in the world. Hmm. In fact, Marilyn Monroe uh, that I have a picture of, and with all due respect to your friend, is. Susie Kennedy, and she's from London, England, and she is, you know, the perfect Marilyn Monroe. Mm. Uh, and we were working together at the Golden Nugget, and we certainly turned ahead. The Golden Nugget located in Las Vegas, mm. and we certainly turned heads. So, uh, okay. but it's been an interesting trip. Yeah. Well, just recently I was in Denver, Colorado, working with Stormy Daniels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still may be aware of her. Yeah, yes, I am aware of that. And I've been fortunate since I started this 10 years ago. Uh, I've been Cancun, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, New York City, Chicago, New York City for New Year's, Chicago for New Year's, uh, New Orleans, Vegas, numerous times, Denver, Colorado. So I've done the, I've done a lot of traveling. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, everybody, uh, like he said, go to Hugh Hefner. Uh, what was the address again? Uh, impersonator? Hmm. Hugh look Hefner, lookalike. Right. Look dot com. Okay, and go there and you can email him and check out his pictures and uh, he's only got one video, which is the video we're going to show you in just a moment. Uh, it's actually him uh, taking selfies and uh, that. It's not a very long clip. Uh, where, where was that taken at, George? That was at Fantasy Fest hmm. in Key West, Florida. Okay. That's uh, like a mini Mardi Gras of New Orleans. But it's awesome. I've been working that for 10 years now. Oh. And uh, with various individuals, one very infamous one, Ron Jeremy, uh, <laughs> for 10 years, and uh, numerous other uh, girl starlets. And uh, it's been fun, it's been interesting. Oh, okay. Well, well, that's good to know. And we're going to watch that in just a moment. But uh, 
before we get into that, I uh, I think that's all we really need right now for uh, George. Uh, but uh, we would love to have you come back some other time if you have anything to plug for us. Yeah, not a problem. I get to that right now, and um, don't go away. We'll be right back. I would think you would care. Oh, no. 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 Oh